Our favorite friend, Kevin Woodhouse, for Beyond the Headlines. Hi, Kev. Hey, Rhonda. How you doing? I, it's nice to see that you're doing our first remote. Folks, Rhonda is actually outside enjoying the uh, weather. So that's really cool. That's kind of half of our shows are remote. And uh, is, we're, we're dying to get remote. We want to go on site and, and get you yeah. guys right on site. But we're waiting till COVID gives us a break. Let's jump in. We have a hell of a, a, hell of a lineup today. Oh, we so we are starting with our new sponsors. We have Boosten. Thank you, Bustan, for sponsoring us. Um, They are Lebanese authentic cuisine. I can tell you I am Lebanese descent. And let me tell you, they are really the real deal. They do it right, don't they? You can, we did do it right. They, you can win, and I have the actual brochure in front of me, a shawarma chicken plate, a shawarma beef plate, a shawarma mixed plate. One of those three is your option. You can have dinner for two if you comment during our show. So you need to do that. So get on that. That's your responsibility. Thank you again to Boost Dance. And we will have a winner from last week at the end of our segment from Cunningham. Yeah, that's right. So... Um... Rhonda, I, I think our first story is something that you were we were you were talking we were talking about just before we came on air. There's a horse rescue fundraiser happening in the Hudson. Tell us about that. that I love cool. the horse tail. Very very um, supportive of this organization. They have a fertilizer black gold manure compost that you can use in your garden to register and confirm your time slot. You have to book it because you have to pick it up so the aht which is a horse tail will be pre-packaging the fertilizer in double lined paper bags you load them in your car this aligns with the rules of the government where we're being covid and it also aligns with reduce reuse recycle and it's easier for you than a big compost bag they've got done this in a way that makes it easy on everybody Plus, they are manageable to move. So you, as I was saying, you have to register to confirm your time slot. You can check all this out on the West Island News page. All the deets are there. But to register and confirm your time slot, you go to manure at a horsetail.org. All the details around this process will be given to you at the time. It's a great way to give back. And these, this, I don't know if you know what Horsetails is, Kev, but it's a dedicated ranch that is safe and comfortable and loving environment for horses that pass through their gates. They promote rehabilitation and when possible, facilitate rehoming. So this oh, is horse, this is the SPCA of horses. So yeah. it's wonderful. That's really good. And what I, what's really nice about this initiative is a um, lot more people are gardening now because you know, you know uh, gardening went is the thing. The last summer because if we can't go out, if we can't be around people, if, you know, if I can't go to buy food, I'm going to grow my own food. And, and I think that that's great. Um, my suggestion to gardeners is, if you can this year, make an extra row for others. Yes. Uh, I know a lot of gardeners have done yeah. that. And it's like, I'm going to make a row for, I'm going to give to the West Island Mission, or I'm going to give to, you know, there's a, there's a, a lot of uh, agencies that, that, re, that would, you know, that would benefit and nothing beats fresh food, right? I mean, if you, if you have the space to grow it, grow it. Cause people say, well, I like growing a garden, but there's only two or three of us in the house. Give it to your neighbors, give it to charity. Cause uh, good food should never go to waste. So that, that, I think that's a great initiative from a horse tail and uh, good luck to all you gardeners out there. I think that's fantastic. I think, I've, and you know, it is an important thing to do. And right now you can't get your hands on, like everything sells out much like there's no biking equipment. There's no yeah. gardening equipment. Like it, it, it goes right out of the stores. I, w- I went to Canadian Tire to buy a, to buy a set of chairs. They had, they were, I was on for a week. Yeah. I, did, I never got the chairs. I'm not having the chairs. Get over it. You're not having those chairs. <laughs> well, there's Every- patio living, right? I mean, if we can't go to terraces if we can't go to restaurants we're going to create our own for those of us who have backyards or you know what people can do it on their god when i'm in an apartment we used to grow tomatoes on on the gallery it was great to watch them you know uh so yeah uh, it's a feel-good thing yeah and and being outside and especially the kind of spring we're having you know it's actually started earlier and lasting a little bit longer so i think we're going to have a ripper growing season so that's great i think think you're right and we've got like we we think uh, june is april this year june april is the new june that's right all right what's up i heard you got your shot tell me the COVID update what have we got okay well uh yes i did get my shot last week and if you remember last wednesday the government said by the way we have i think it was twenty thousand or so extra cases of uh, AstraZeneca for you 45 and up. 
So my wife said, you know, it's happening Wednesday morning. You should really get on that. And like a typical guy, I'm like, yeah, that'll happen. It happened because she diligently got on at 7.15 in the morning. When she got on, there were 20 spots available. By the time she finished filling out my application, there were two. And I ended up going to Mercier, which is sort of Bohornois and Chateauguay. So it was a pleasant drive on Highway 30. Okay. Yeah, it took me about 40 minutes to get there. The shot, all that stuff is painless. The staff were incredible. Everyone's kind. Everyone's patient. Um, I will say there was a bit of a punch in the face. I had fever dreams for two days. So I had sort of a light fever Friday and Saturday. Felt like I had lost a fight, you know, a little bit of aches and pains. Mm-hmm. But I didn't get COVID. And I'm, I'm feeling good now. So a couple of days I didn't train and complained a little bit as a man being sick. It's hard, but but I was, I was okay. And <clears throat> I got my shot booked for uh, uh, August, mid-August. I'm going back in August. And so I guess the, the update for us is the West Island Health Board uh, made an announcement that due to some, they were a little vague on details, but due to technical errors, folks who've been going in to get testing like they have in, in Kirkland at the Rio Can Center and various spots. Uh, I don't know. If, uh, yeah, that's, that's sort of the big one for the, the West Island right now. Bob there are days in, in, in getting the test back. Normally you get your test results back in about two days and they're taking about seven. So just remember folks, the same thing applies. If you go for a test, email says no problem. It's if you get the phone call that then, 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 then that means that there's been a, then, retest then, then, or retest. Yeah, you, that's it. You tested positive. Now in terms of us 45 pluses, all the A's, uh, all the AZ vaccines were gone. So anyone who's got an appointment for this week, absolutely go to your appointment. Just right now, they're not making any new ones, but I'm sure that's going to change because the federal government is continually giving new sources. At no point have we heard that the, the sources are drying up. So um, so you're talking, folks, to two people who've got it. Um, if you can get vaccinated, get vaccinated, because that way, when 75% of us have got vaccinated, that's when things really open up and we can get back to a little bit more normalcy. So, uh, yeah, I mean, three on 10 in terms